Hey, what's up guys? Jordan Valeriat here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get that polished, radio-ready rock or pop vocal sound. And it's actually not that hard. You don't need to go hunting for problem frequencies and notch them out. You don't need a fancy multi-band compressor or anything complicated like that. In fact, you're gonna see that 90% of this kind of radio, mainstream, rock, pop vocal sound comes from just two of the simplest tools that we have, EQ and compression. And when I'm thinking of a radio ready, mainstream pop vocal sound, I'm thinking of a vocal that sounds nice and clear and bright, but not harsh. Uh, it has a lot of energy, sits really up front in the mix. It's like the singer is just standing like right in front of you, right? And you can hear every word, you can hear every sound they're making uh, with their voice as they're singing, and that helps the listener connect more emotionally with the song. And the biggest mistake I see new mixers make when it comes to vocals is that they're just way too delicate with it. They're afraid to really push these tools as much as they need to be pushed in order to achieve this modern sound. So keep that in mind as we dive in right now. So here's a pop rock mix. Let's check out a few seconds of this song. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. All right, so that's kind of like a, a final version. Now let's just go ahead and get rid of all of these plugins. We'll start from scratch. And here's what the vocal sounds like now. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. So Pretty Doll kind of comes in and out in terms of volume. So, you know, you might hear this in the context of this mix and think, okay, this needs a lot of work. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to... Pretty standard raw vocal sound. So what I'm going to start with is actually a compressor, but I'm going to put this second in the chain because I like to actually EQ into the compression, but I want to get the compression going first. So my favorite vocal compression plugin, it doesn't have to be this, but something maybe 1176 style. There's tons of different plugin brands that make them. I like this one from Waves, and I like to start with the in-your-face vocal preset, um, which is basically just four to one attack right up the middle here. It's still a pretty fast attack on this compressor and then the fastest release. So pretty much with vocal compression, you can think pretty fast attack, fast release, usually the fastest release that the compressor has. So let's check it out right away just with this plugin. First thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to- So right away, just with this compression, I want you to hear the energy we're adding to the words and how all of a sudden his vocal is like way more upfront. So bypassed. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby you. Now in. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute. Of it's like the attack, all the consonants, the S's, the T's, and all that is just like way up front. It makes it sound a lot more aggressive. So that's a great start. And we're going to EQ into that. And my favorite EQ is the SSL channel here, but you could really use any. EQ. Let's just put a quick uh, high pass filter at 90. The first thing you said. And what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top end. I like to start at 8K for vocals. Uh, and then we're going to add that. That's going to instantly brighten it up and get us like 75% of the way there. And then we'll add a little more mid range at other points. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to So right away that almost sounds like a finished vocal the first thing you said before you got in my head was a little heavy on the s the, the kind of s harshness now but that's okay we'll deal with that later um, now aside from that top end boost we want to really have the mid-range right up front so, um, so that this vocal you know cuts through the mix on on any system and translates well so usually i like to do a nice little boost somewhere between one and two or two and a half k and it just depends on the vocal. So I like to start maybe around one and a half, get a little boost going, and then kind of sweep it around and figure out where it really sits out front of the mix. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. The higher up you go, the more kind of aggressive it's gonna sound. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute to, to decide if it was me or you You stood in the doorway with your hands on the frame The first thing you said before you got him 
So I like it there around uh, 1.6K. And then sometimes between kind of three and a half, four and a half K, just to add a little bit more of that uh, intelligibility of uh, the words and kind of the consonants. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's a bit more aggression too. The first thing you said before you got in my head. Now with all that EQ, we're peaking this plug in a bit, which is fine. It sounds fine, but we'll just dip it back a little bit. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two. So again, let's just see the difference between these two plugins on and off. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you but that's just what I did. And notice how uh, doing this kind of aggressive EQ into the compressor kind of smooths out these big moves that we're making. So without the compressor, the first thing you said before you got in my head was baby. Some of the words like really jump out as harsh, but with the compressor in, it just evens all that out. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby. You don't have to harder. worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute. All right, so that sounds great already. It's nice and upfront. It's bright, it's clear, but the S's are a little bit harsh. So you can throw on any de-esser. Lately, I've been using this Waves Sibilance, um, which I like. We could just go to Bright Pop preset here. The first thing you said before. It's doing a little bit too much. I still want to get like some nice bright S's because that helps you hear all the words and all the lyrics. The first thing you said before you. We don't want it to sound unnatural. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. So maybe about there. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I. Now, all of a sudden, once you have the DS or in, it's almost like maybe we could push it a little more. Maybe this could be a bit brighter. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. Something like that. Now, right there, EQ, compression, that's like that's like 90 or 95% of it, but we can sweeten it up a little more. I like doing a little bit of saturation on a vocal, help it take up more space, add a little bit more excitement and energy to it. Um, here's uh, Escalator from Black Salt Audio. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. See how that adds just like a little bit of a subtle kind of edge and a little bit of extra energy to the vocal. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I... It's more subtle for sure. And the last thing I would do here is just a, a standard hard ceiling limiter. I like the L1 from Waves, it's an old classic. And this just helps kind of tame the odd like stray peaks that are coming through because of this aggressive compression, it's clamping down really hard, it's doing a lot of gain reduction. So it can kind of create this big spike in the audio right before the compressor clamps in. We'll see if we're getting any of these spikes here. Watch the meters. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two. So right there when he says, I took a minute or two. You don't have to worry. Just what I did, I took a minute. See the meter just spikes up there. So that's where we'll, we'll bring this in. It's just gonna be doing li really light work here. Just what I did, I took a minute or two. Back up a bit, here we go. You don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. So that just really contains it, just finalizes the You don't part. have to worry. So let's go back to the very beginning here. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. Let's maybe back it off a little bit here. The first thing you said before you got in my head was baby, you don't have to worry, but that's just what I did. I took a minute or two to decide if it was me or you. You stood in the door with your hands on the frame you said it's hard to find yourself with someone else in the way at this point i can see it's not you so it's gotta be me so there you go that sounds like a radio ready modern 
pop rock vocal sound right there. Only took a couple minutes and a couple simple tools. And just to show you one more example, this works on like pretty much any vocal. Again, you might have to fine tune some things and finesse some things depending on the singer, but this is gonna get you 90, 95% of the way there for like any song. So I'll show you an example of another pop rock track with female vocals this time. I've been staring up at all the stars. Since I last heard you. So that's just the raw, dry vocal there. So let's take the same approach. Let's put the 1176 in. We want to go bluey. Again, medium attack, fast release, four to one. I've been staring up at old stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard you. Right a little counterintuitive, but uh, I like starting with this compressor because to me, it is. It's doing a majority of the work for this vocal sound here. I've been staring up at old stars. It's been All right, now let's EQ days, into that. Weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant echo. I hear when I close my eyes. It tells me where your mind goes at night. I've been staring up at old stars. Been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant echo I hear when I close. I've been staring up at old stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant echo I hear. All right, that's sounding pretty good. Let's use a different DSer this time. So the RDSer, again from Waze, I like this one. And I like the wide. Let's do female DS wide. I've been staring up at all the stars. Oh, it's, it's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant echo. I've been staring up at all the stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. Sounds good to me. This could definitely use a little bit of saturation. We could try something different. Let's see. Well, let's go back to the escalator quick. Let's see how that sounds. I've been staring up at old stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant echo. I hear We'll do a little limiter there. Let's go to the course. Staring up at old stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard. I want you to really pay attention to this compression. Let's I've bypass it. I've been staring it. up at old stars. It's been hours, days, weeks, months since I last heard your voice. And right now, the distant weeks, months. Last heard your voice, and right now the distant echo. Listen to how the compressor, and I'll put it in. Listen to how it just brings out all of that character and emotion on the vocal. Last heard your voice, and right now the distant echo. I hear when I close my eyes. It tells me where your mind goes at night. All right, so there you go. Works on a female pop vocal, male vocal, really the exact same. And now that you've kind of heard the difference and kind of how aggressive we get with compression here on this style of vocal, listen to top hit songs on the radio or your favorite records really in any kind of rock pop genre. 
you're going to hear that compression. You're going to hear how the breaths are loud, how all the noises that they're making as they're singing are just like right up front. That's, that's the sound of aggressive compression. That is like 80 or 90% of the pop, you know, the modern pop rock vocal sound. So I hope this helps. It's, it's not that complicated, right? If you just do this kind of top end upper mid range boost into this style of compression, you're going to, you're going to start getting that vocal sound. You just got to use the tools. Don't be afraid to push them. Don't be delicate with it. All right. Don't be delicate use them as much as you need to to get the sound that you want and that's such an important characteristic of pro mixers at the highest level is that they they use these tools they're not afraid to use them they mix with their ears not with their eyes they don't mix by you know certain rules or they don't get afraid when they see a little red light popping on or you know when they're turning a knob quite a bit they'll do whatever they need to do to get the sound that works and they'll commit and make decisions quickly. Now I've got a free seven part video series that dives a lot deeper into what it really takes to make competitive pro caliber records today. It's called the full stack producer and I've made it available for all recording revolution subscribers and fans to stream for free all month long. And in that video series, it's, it's not just about mixing like I just showed you here. It's also diving into tracking, editing and the overall mindset uh, that it takes to really become a, a professional, a paid professional record producer or to release your own music um, at that pro standard that's going to get noticed and taken seriously. So if you want to discover that blueprint for making records that sound like they're ready for the big leagues, then click the link in the description below. Just sign up there and you'll get full access to all seven episodes that you can start watching right now. So hope to see you over there, guys. Thanks for watching.